They're desperately looking for a place to get this young man to have surgery because he needs much more than what they can do here. So we uh, lent Dr. Pust our satellite phone so that he could try to call some people. He's calling anyone he can think of to get to a more sophisticated hospital. If you don't get him to a better hospital tonight, right. what's going to happen to him? He would die. Families are obviously going to be upset. They've been sitting here with their loved ones who they were so excited to see alive only now to watch them die a slow, painful death from their rotting flesh because the infections are out of control and they need surgery. I've been here since Thursday. No one except the Israeli hospital has taken any of our patients. I'm just amazed. I'm just amazed at what's here. This is, this is like another world compared to the other hospital. Imaging department. I mean, imaging. My God, they have machines here. They have actual operating rooms and... It's just amazing. What's the machine? Uh, it's, it's a respiratory machine. It's a ventilator? Ventilator and monitor. Ventilator, monitor, suction, and uh, oxygen. I mean, they, they don't have this at the little hospital that I came from. So the Israelis have set up a field hospital. Have the Americans, has the American government set up a field hospital? Currently not yet. The Israelis came from the other side of the world. Mm -hmm. It's a frustrating thing that I really can't explain. Yeah, I said it's something that can make you almost embarrassed to be an American. The situation is beyond desperate at this point. The disaster was the quake, but this is the disaster that's following in its wake. And it's, these patients were so thankful to have lived through the quake, and now they're slowly dying in these hospitals. We're desperate.
This surgical unit has been designed to provide a very safe and regulatory compliant facility that can be used to temporarily replace or augment the capacity of an existing surgical facility or to provide a mobile ambulatory surgical center that can operate as an independent unit. As a self-contained facility, it also can provide an environment that can duplicate the hospital operating room in a disaster setting. This surgical unit has backup systems for power, heating, ventilating, air conditioning, medical gases, communications, and water. These units have a history of regulatory health care compliance and licensure. The flow of patients is from the patient care area, which is also under positive pressure but not as positive as the OR, into the OR and then back into the recovery area of the patient care area. The flow of the disposable waste is taken from the OR in plastic bags into the forward contaminated storage room and from there they can be removed from the unit without going back through the OR. The flow for surgical instruments is from the OR to the soiled workroom where they can be cleaned using ultrasound if needed and then pass through to the clean side for sterilization and return to the OR. This prevents contamination from splashing from dirty to clean instruments.